Hi everyone. Hello. Hi guys. Happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. And here we are. And I'm ready for you. So let's get into it. I hope you guys have had a fantastic couple of days. I cannot wait to show you what I have found. It is so good. I am so excited to get into this with you guys. But let's start off with the lipstick here. And I did try on that Revlon today that I got in the um, a few hauls ago. And this is the Revlon in this beautiful packaging right here that's all glitterized and gorgeous. And it is this color red. So this is what is on my lips. And this color is 730 is the number on it and it's Revlon red and I just hauled it not too long ago but this is a gorgeous red and I am so excited that I found this and this is normally like a $10 tube of lipstick so I'm really excited and it looks great feels great so run out and grab it because it's fantastic I can't wait I can't wait I have to show you right away look at what I found. I love these Tupperware little containers that they come out with every single season for the last couple of years and they always do a different image on it and I love this one. So this is the container size right here. It's really good and um, it will fit like a lot of home baked cookies. A layer, a tray of cupcakes in it. That is what I use these for. I do not know why I couldn't get that lid off. It was really on there good. So this is the inside of the pan size. It's really a nice little um, perimeter to stack up some homemade goodies in there and there is the lid this is the only one that I found I did not find any other one with any other type of image on the front of it so this is the red truck with some pumpkins in the back and I love it so right here is the first item that I grabbed then it inspired me to go into the baking section at the Dollar Tree and pull some baking goods to get ready for some treat making during Halloween. So I picked up this Funfetti box right here and it makes 12 cupcakes inside and all it requires is a third of a cup of water, um, no, uh, a third cup of water, uh, some oil and two eggs. So the instructions are right on the back. Grab some muffin um, little cupcake tins and bake some yummy Funfetti cupcakes in there. And then you can also get the baking sheets, the cupcake muffin tins at the Dollar Tree as well. And then I grab some Funfetti vanilla frosting and on top it comes with the sprinkles. And this is a perfect amount of frosting because I don't really enjoy frosting at all. So I that's really such a great little size just to frost 12 cupcakes right there and um, do some sprinkles on top. You can layer those in there or you can grab some Funfetti mix from the Dollar Twee. Twi from the Dollar Tree, <laughs> from the Dollar Tree as well. And these make cookies, Funfetti cookies. Yes, I love it. These, this is a sugi. What is happening right now to my speaking voice? I don't know. Um, sugar cookie mix with candy bites in it. And it's uh, serving suggestion is one seventh of a package. I don't really know what that means, but I'm sure it makes roughly around 12 cookies in there. So that is also an option as well as you can pick up some rainbow sprinkles from the Dollar Tree. And this is quite a bit of little rainbow sprinkles inside of this container here. And this is from the Supreme Traditions brand at the Dollar Tree. So after you frost your cupcakes or your cookies and, you know, or both, the frosting comes with some sprinkles on top. Or you can add some more colorful sprinkles and make it a whole party. So I absolutely am obsessed with that little um, that little Tupperware right there. And I always like to personally bake stuff for the holidays and hand it out 
for gifts and for treats for people that I care about, coworkers, neighbors, and things like that, family members and what have you, or to have my own snacks out at my house to invite people over to enjoy the day with me. So there is that. And then I found this stuff. So I found this movie right here, and this is Monster Family, and how cute are these characters in this um, photo right here. So it instantly intrigued me, and I just thought, wow, this is really cute little movie to gift to somebody for a little Halloween treat. So I grabbed a package of the Act 2 Movie Theater Butter Popcorn, and it comes with three three bags for only a dollar in there to pop and then I found these glasses right here and I love these glasses so much I have been waiting to find these for a couple of weeks now since I saw somebody haul them and I absolutely think that they are just the cutest thing so that's really just such a cute three dollar gift to put together to think of somebody just for a little Halloween night, movie night, and that is a fun time. So I absolutely thought that that was perfect, all three of those little items together, and I was so excited to have picked up that movie. So I'm going to gift that away during Halloween so that somebody can have a fun little picture night. Then I found this peace wreath, and I had hauled a few over the beginning of the summer, but I was really excited to have found them back out on the shelves. So this is the peace wire wreath form right here, and I absolutely love it because this girl is all about positivity, love, peace, happiness, like let's just keep the world turning in the right direction. Let's be nice. Let's just be nice. Can we just be nice? Like, life is rough enough. This has been a tough week, I can tell you that. I wish I could call you guys and be like, girl, you don't even know what happened to me this week. But this has been a long week. So all I'm looking for at this point is peace. And I felt like when I found these, I was like, that's that's my, that's my sign. Like, we are going to have a peaceful weekend. So I had to pick one more up because I am going to use this right here and this is garland it just says garland but i absolutely love this style garland with the leaves that look um like they're kind of outlined ivy that's the word that i'm looking for and i'm gonna put this ivy all around the peace sign and through this area that makes the peace sign and then i'm gonna take these little lights right here these copper wire led lights and there are 16 lights on here and there is a battery pack in there um and it takes two double a batteries for this little twinkle light set and i'm going to string these twinkle lights all around the ivy on top of this peace wreath and make myself a nice little visual to draw me in to some earthy happiness and peacefulness so i just loved these three things together and i'm excited to have found all of them in one store so that i can have a little crafting moment and put those things together okay so i found some more halloween stickers which i'm totally excited about and these are so cute and they're like foily looking and i love 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 the kitties on there especially the skeleton sugar skull kitties those I think are the cutest stickers on here so when I saw that I had to grab them and there's 25 stickers on this sheet right here so I picked those up and then I grabbed this one and this is a 24 piece sticker set but look at that one looks like Sully from um, Monsters Inc. So I saw him and I was like, oh my gosh, I love Monsters Inc. And then the unicorn little pumpkin and the pirate pumpkin. I just thought, wow, these are absolutely adorable and I love them so much. And I send out a lot of mail to people, friends, family, my best friend in the entire world, my sister, my soulmate, my everything since third grade. She lives in Florida. And she's lived there for 17 years. I'm still up north. And so we, we send each other things. And 
we we talk like 97 times a day you know whenever we can get five minutes just to chat with one another we are on the phone um and i miss her dearly but i send things to her i send things to my friends here on youtube my family you know here on youtube and we just have fun with it and we like to decorate our packages so having stickers on hand is always a plus then i found more wooden cutouts and this girl was super happy because i thought i had hit the jackpot um when i showed you guys a couple of hauls ago all the wooden pieces that i found and then i found even more to bleach dye my colored t-shirts from the dollar tree so today i found this one right here and this has so many um little entry ways to put the bleach and to really make that spider prominent i cannot wait to try this out i am so excited to bleach dye so i picked up this piece right here then i absolutely loved this one as well the cauldron with the bubbling little um i'm probably gonna you know just make sure i can get into these little areas really good with the bleach so that it looks like the bubbling effect on top of the cauldron but then it says trick or treat and i love the entire frame around it so that is really really cute and then i found this one right here and it's the cat in the little jack-o-lantern down there so I think that one is really cute and I think that once I bleach dye on the shirt with this particular image I'm gonna get some puff paint and then I'm gonna copy the cutouts of their faces and just hand draw with the puff paint on top of the like where I've bleached it away and left the image on the t-shirt i'm going to use the puff paint to make the face of the cat and the face of the jack-o-lantern so that that you can see that image in the shirt and then i found the witch hat right here um it almost looks like a scarecrow hat not even just a witch hat the way that the little cutouts are in the lines and that little fringe area right there so i can picture this more like a, a scarecrow look but i'm still gonna I'm going to smack myself in the face. Listen, you, it's like we're very consistent over here on Crazy Days of Cal and I always hit myself. You know, you know the deal at this point. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to try to make this as much of a witch hat as I can and bleach dye this image onto the shirt. So I found that and I thought that was really cool. And then this one right here. I love this one so much with the cauldron and the witch's legs coming up out of the cauldron with her little curly um, boots. I love this one so, so much. So I was so excited to find more cutouts to do my crafting on my t-shirts and I'm thoroughly excited. Then I found these wooden boxes right here. Look at these in the crafter square section where you can find all of those other 3D looking wooden um, little figures and stuff that you can paint or spray paint or whatever you would like to do with them. I found these little boxes. So they are wrapped right now. I'm not gonna mess around with the wrapping at the moment, but after you take the plastic off, this is a cover and then where this butterfly is right here this is all cutouts so that's not painted on or anything this is actually cut out it's laser cut out so that the butterfly um has the design like carved into it and i absolutely love this little box right here i'm probably gonna just like paint it all one color and have the butterfly just kind of um floating in the middle maybe natural I don't know we're gonna see how that goes and then of course I found a rainbow and I couldn't leave the rainbow there so here is this image on there which I love to pieces um because it just represents this girl over here this colorful wild girl over here and I love this one as well so I grabbed that and I was so excited now I found these stickers and I am, I was like freaking out because I was a Lisa Frank girl when I was little and I absolutely loved all of my Lisa Frank odds and ends. And I found these the minute I walked into the store and I was like, what is that? And then, oh my goodness, these rainbow corns here, 
This is an this is a sticker. This is like an entire sticker right here. So on the back it shows you you can put it on like books. Um, you know, to decorate like if if you get textbooks or things like that at school and you still have to wrap them, do you remember how we used to wrap our textbooks in tra um paper bags from the market to protect them? Um, if you wrap your textbooks, you can use these to do that with. You can put them on your backpack, your laptop, um, your locker. So I think that that is so cool. So I picked up this guy right here, which I absolutely love his whole face. He's so cute. And then this one was definitely one of my top favorites. Sparkle on. Yes, I will. We will sparkle through this life together. Look at that. She is just a little ham sandwich. What a cutie patootie that little unicorn is. And then this is the No Drama Llama, which uh, he's kind of small and the wording is bigger than him, but I still think he was terribly cute. And I wanted to get all of them because I didn't want to separate them. So I got every one that was available. And then this one says Fabulous, um, the little toucan type of bird. I loved these so much. I was so like eight years old in the store when I found these. And then that little hamster right there. Aren't these the sweetest? And then the panda right there. So this is me all day. I don't care if this is for a third grader. It's mine. I'm 40 and I love it. And I'm putting them on my... um my organization binders. Yes. Yes, I am. And when I flip the pages, I'm just going to get happier and happier as I look at those stickers. So I picked that up. Then I found, oh, now guys, I took a lot of pictures at the store in the last two days. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's crazy days of Callan over there. I am going to post throughout the weekend, the things that I found in the Dollar Trees that I didn't pick up, but that I still want you to see. And i took a lot of pictures just I'm going to tell you that so if you want to see what's out there follow me on Instagram I found some of these head wraps right here these bandana head wraps and these slide out of my hair so I always have to bobby pin them in but I think that these are so stinking pretty the colors of them is absolutely fantastic they had a gray one and a light baby blue one but I definitely wanted to pick up the pink one. And you know I love that little tie little action right there. So I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed the scrunchie that went with that color. So this is the scrunchie. And I love that it's the blue and the pink mixed together. So that is just one little set that I picked up. But in the picture you can see all of the things that they had for options. And this brand right here with this new hair accessories. So I will post the pictures somewhere over, you know, today and tomorrow. Um, so definitely watch for that because those were just the cutest, cutest, cutest things I've ever seen. Uh, I also got some rub-on transfer stickers. And honest to goodness, I have never tried these. So I don't know how well I'm going to do with them. And... I don't really know what is a good way to do them. So if somebody can help me out because I love these images on here and I don't want to mess them up if I decide to do a craft and try to rub on transfer with these. So, um, yeah, I might need a little help. I mean, it shows you on the back what you can put it on and it gives you a little bit of detail of exactly how to rub it on but I'm afraid I'm gonna mess them up and this set right here is so pretty because I'm such an ocean girl that uh, I just I'm fear and this was the only one they had so I couldn't get a backup in case I did mess it up so um yeah these are really really pretty and I've never seen the rub on transfers before at my Dollar Trees and I also found this iron on transfer which I am definitely putting on a t-shirt and this says sparkle and shine. And my girl, Joanne Barandi, tells me to sparkle and shine all of the time. If you do not know who she is, 
find her on YouTube. She usually comments on my videos. Her name is Joanne Barandi. I got, I got, she is wonderful and she's so talented. You have no idea. Um, but this sparkle and shine, she always tells me to go out and sparkle and this, that, and the other thing. And she's just so sweet. So I found this and instantly thought of her. And then I'm going to get a t-shirt and I am going to transfer this image onto it and rock it for you, especially Joanne. It's going to be my Joanne shirt. Um, and I also love my Keisha and my Jay and Nikisha is the Moreno fam and she's awesome. She has a beautiful family and frugal Jay. Like they are just amazing people and they both have channels as well. So if you want to go check them out, please do. So I found this image and I instantly thought of all my YouTube family that I love so much. So I wanted to mention them. I found this right here and these alphabet letters are like tie-dye style so I am obsessed with these because you know I love tie-dye and I think that these are just unique and pretty and they're going to be great for scrapbooking so I definitely wanted to grab that sheet of that um of those letters right there because this girl is going to have a lot of things to write out in her scrapbooks once I get started and I'm going to use those, use those, use those. Now I do want to show you this because I was pretty amazed that they actually had it out and I was thrilled. So they had these party candles right here with the rainbows um, and they are the candles but I've been honest to goodness waiting for these to come to one of my Dollar Trees all summer because I wanted them for my birthday cake on July 6th and I never found them. But today I found them. So I'm going to save them for next year. And they had a whole little section of all of these style designed um, candles. So I took a picture of them and I'll share those as well on my Instagram but these are just fantastic and I'm so happy that I have them now even though my 40th birthday has already come and gone. And then for my son's 18th birthday, I'm doing him a all money themed um, birthday, 18th birthday party. And I'm trying to find everything with like money signs on it and things like that. And it's all black, silver and gold themed. But I found this fan right here with money all over it. The image of money all over it. My son is a very motivated boy and he loves money. He has three jobs. He works and works and works and he still finds time for a social life and downtime and family time. And he's just a stellar kid. And um, But he loves cash and he loves getting his paychecks. So I'm doing him this type of theme for his cake and everything. Shh, don't tell him. It's going to be a surprise for him and we're going away for it. So I picked that up, but I couldn't believe it when I fanned it out and saw that it was all money. I was like, how perfect is this? I was so excited. Um, now I showed you guys, I think it was in the last haul or the haul before that, that I picked up a cat craft kit. And then I I said, I wonder if they have other options in this line because all I found was the cat. And then I found the other ones today. And here is a sugar skull crafting kit right there. It gives you all the pieces of felt inside of it to cut out and make the, um, the face onto this skull little platform here. So I found that one. Then I also found the jack-o'-lantern. Um, which way do you hold this thing? Like that? Like that? I don't quite know. But this one is the jack-o'-lantern. And there's all the pieces inside to create that face right there. So how cute would this be? There's four of them in the line. And to gift that to some little, you know, kid to have a crafting Halloween afternoon, give them the book the box of popcorn and the movie glasses. Give them a little craft to do at the table while the movie is playing. It's just a fun afternoon. And this is the stuff I always did with my son. So, and there's the owl. So I absolutely love the owl more than anything. 
and there are all of the owls pieces in there so i was really happy and now i have all four because i already have the cat and hauled it for you guys then i found these two items and i want to show them to go together because the color of it is so beautiful i found this pumpkin oh it, no that's the jack-o-lantern face right there i thought it was dented but that's the jack-o-lantern face right there and this is just a cute little cup and the straw reminds me of Beetlejuice. And so I had to get it. I was so excited when I found it. And it's just a little sippy cup. And I love it. Bless you. And then here, bless you. And then here is the witch's boot right here. But it also had in the same exact section a pumpkin. And oh, what was the other thing? There was a pumpkin and I can't remember the other thing that I found, but I did take a picture of the three options that I did. Oh, a spider. I set them next to each other and I took a picture of it and look at the curl in that boot right there. Like that's really such a great curl on that toe girl. That's a great curl on that toe, you little witch. <laughs> so this is the uh, witch boot right here. I probably should have gotten another one so it could be like a whole pair of little witch boots. I might go back and grab another one. So I found these two things and I thought that they were so adorable. Put together a cute little Halloween decorating little basket. Throw a cup in there to somebody that loves Halloween just as much as I do. That's a cute little gift to give away as well. And then as you know, because I've mentioned it in almost every video because I'm so excited for Halloween and decorating for Michael Myers. Um, and I'm decorating with jack-o'-lanterns and ghosts because one of the scenes in the Halloween original movie was Michael Myers dressed up as a ghost as he was going upstairs. And so I'm doing ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns and I'm going to do some Michael Myers crafting to make some decorations with Michael Myers. And I found this little sign right here and I absolutely love it. Happy haunting and the ghost and then the little ghost flying around him. So I found that sign and I was like, whoop, that's coming home. Coming home, girl, coming home. Um, so I picked that up. Then I also found some tacky glue. And I don't know if you guys love tacky glue as much as this girl loves tacky girl. Tacky girl, tacky girl. Well, sometimes I'm tacky, let's not lie. I'm a little out there. Um, tacky glue like this girl is what I was trying to say. But tacky glue is fantastic. I use tacky glue as much as possible when I'm crafting and doing things um, around the house. If things need repairs, if some of my figurines have broken, I use tacky glue and it holds it together. So this is a decent size little bottle right here of tacky glue. It's three fluid ounces and I found it today and I was like, I love tacky glue. I got to get that tacky glue because there are some serious crafting moments going to be happening in my house in like a month from now and I got to get ready for this. So I had to grab that. Then I want to show you that I found some shampoo. You know, I'm into the scents. I'm into the scents of every scent of shampoo and perfume and candles and car fresheners and room sprays and all those things that I love. And I found this shampoo right here, which is coconut and hibiscus. And I got the shampoo and the conditioner and oh my Christmas tree. It smells so good. It doesn't smell like a Christmas tree. I'm just I just said on my Christmas tree, but it smells unbelievable. It smells fantastic, coconutty and a little earthy and it's so good. And I cannot wait to wash my hair with it. And there it went because I drop everything. I drop the conditioner, um, but this smells phenomenal. It's active botanicals, moisture, nourish and protect. And it's from the brand White Rain. So I got the shampoo and the conditioner for that. And then right here, I found a different one. And this is from the Suave Essentials. This is Vanilla Blossom and Almond. And this one honestly smells even better than that one, if you can believe it, from what I'm telling you. Because this one knocked my socks off. And this is a two-in-one smoothing shampoo conditioner. So find these, smell them, thank me later when you're smelling 
like a million dollars going out on the town and you're breezing by people with your hair flowing in the wind and you know everybody's asking for your phone number it's your shampoo and I sent you to the shampoo so you're welcome when you get married <laughs> look I just made like a whole story maybe maybe I should be a storyteller and um a matchmaker who I mean who knows so I, <laughs> it's just it's that good guys I promise you it's really that good so then I found, almost last but not least, I found my mother the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yarn in all fall tones. And I want to try to get them together for you just a little bit because the colors together are so flippin' gorgeous that I almost passed out. And, alright, so I'll show you these first right here. And this is from the, that Just Yarn brand. And look at those colors. Look at all of those fall colors together. That's that like um, mauvey pink and the green and the orange and this brown that has like a mixture of tones in it. Oh my good grief. Isn't that just beautiful? So I got those. There's more. Give me a second. Then I got this one and that one. Hold on one second. I'm almost there for you, girl. I'm almost there. This might be it. No? Yeah? No? I did that one. I did that. Hold on one second. Um, I did that one. And I did that one. Okay. So, and then I have these three right here. So, there is this one. This is like a, a really light mint. So, there's that one. This one right here and that like denim -y one right there. So that's the yarn that I picked up for her. And all of them are such beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fall tones. If she wanted to like mix them all together, make like a throw for the back of the couch or like her special chair or whatever, um, she is going to be cozy and warm and feeling like a million dollars during the fall season and or she can wrap that scarf around her neck and feel cozy so i picked her up those yarns and that is that that is the end of this saturday dollar tree haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you had fun with me i'm just sitting here and just chilling out and i was looking forward to sitting down and making this video for you all day today it has been a long week a long week and all I kept thinking was I need to just get to my my happy place I need to get to my friends I need to get to my fam and so I'm so happy and thankful and grateful that we made it and we're here on Saturday's happy Dollar Tree Day so I hope you guys have a wonderful excellent amazing happy loved weekend please always remember to be kind to one and one another it is so incredibly important to be kind to one another out here in this world. I love all of you guys so much. Thank you for everything, every single day, day in, day out. Every single time I get to connect to you, it is a blessing to me. So with that, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the bell notification if you want to see all the videos that I post for you guys. And I would really appreciate it. And I will see you on Monday's Dollar Tree Haul. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed one. And I love all you guys so much. And thank you for your love and support. It means the world to me. All right, guys. See you soon. See you Monday. Bye.